Hey guys, it's Amy Lee Simpson, and I'm coming to you again today from my car. Uh, we've had the craziest couple of weeks. Um, we've had a fire at our house. We've been without power and internet for uh, more time than we're used to. So um, I wanted to get on today though, even just from my car, to give you guys a word that I felt the Lord was sharing with me. Because this season of time has been difficult. It has been it, it's felt like an uphill climb every step of the way. Every time I've stepped into something that I feel like God is doing, there has definitely been a significant amount of pushback from the enemy. And I feel like we are surprised by that often. And I don't know why, because we know that the enemy is intimidated by what we carry and what we are meant to do for the Lord. And so when we start into these things, when we press into the things that God is calling us to, um, oftentimes there is significant pushback from the enemy and I was trying to worship the other night and I felt frustrated and stuck and I just felt like almost like a consumer like I wasn't getting anything and the Lord really stopped me in my tracks and just sort of whispered um, his comfort and his reassurance to remind me that this is a place of communing with him not just a place of receiving and so I really thought that that was interesting because I know that, and yet I still fell into this pattern where I was dry, I was thirsty, I was ready for him to fill my cup, and he does that. Uh, but he also wants me to come and sit at his table and just be with him and not necessarily be there to dine and to feast, even though that's part of it, but to be there to be with him, to sow into him as he pours into me. And so um, as I was kind of hearing from the Lord the other night from that, that gentle rebuke, that loving uh, reminder, I had this vision of myself kneeling at the throne of God. And I, it's almost like I was tired and I was dirty and I had nothing. And I just knelt in the dust and I extended my hands, which I felt were empty. But as I uncurled my palms, diamonds fell out and they landed in the dust. And I thought, where did those come from? But it was my offering to him. It was everything that I had. It was all the treasures that I had. And as I closed my hands and opened them, more diamonds would tumble out into the dust. And then they all almost liquefied and they formed together into this beautiful diamond ground. Like the floor became illuminated and it became this beautiful, magnificent, glittering diamond floor all around me. And I pushed up onto my hands, up onto my knees, and I flung my arms wide and I began to sing unto the Lord. And as I did that, everything in me lit up like diamonds, like my hair almost looked filigreed and iridescent and it began to glow and my skin began to glow and whatever I was wearing became encrusted with diamonds. And God took everything that I had, every treasure that I offered up to him and multiplied it. And, and gave me such abundance in this place where I was offering all that I had and he turned it into diamonds. And then he enrobed me with his treasure and his blessing. And I really felt like that was such an encouragement. It was such a word for me as I was kneeling in the dust with nothing. I was dry, I was tired, I felt broken, I felt weary, I felt constantly under attack. And yet the Lord took my offering, turned it into diamonds. And, you know, prophetically, diamonds are something that is hard, something that is tested. And so that is just a picture of what the Lord can do. Like we feel like what we have to offer is coal, it's dust, it's nothing. And God takes that and turns it into something beautiful. That story of beauty for ashes has always been, or that verse has always been um, something that has just really resonated with me as we all walk through hard seasons, knowing that God can take our pain, he can take the destruction of what we walk through and turn it into something so beautiful. You know, we had a fire at our house this weekend on Sunday, and now we're just dealing with the aftermath of this electrical surge that um, lit the outside of our house on fire. You know, we are so blessed that no one was hurt and um, the outcome could have been very different. But, you know, even in dealing with this burn mark on the side of my house, um, I'm claiming recompense. And I know that God is gonna take something from this and bless us somehow. And I'm standing in this place of expectation even before I see. 
he's reminding me that he does turn ashes into something beautiful. And here is this reminder, this mark on the side of my house of something that is burned up, something that could be tragic and how he turns it around. So I just wanna pray over you and remind you today that whatever ashes are in your life, that God can turn them into diamonds and that he is working all things out for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. So Lord, I just pray for everyone today under the sound of my voice, that whatever situation they're in, that they would be able to see the beauty shining through they would see your love, your tender care, your mercies that are new every morning, and they would embrace you, Lord, that they would offer everything that they have, and that you would turn those things into diamonds and enrobe them in your righteousness and in the beauty that comes from seeking you, from dining with you, and from trusting you. So I just pray a blessing over you today. I love you. He loves you. Have the best day. We'll see you next time.